Hello, Potter's Wheel. It's lovely to be with you on New Year's Eve. As we get closer to stepping into 2022, we wanted to just pause a moment and reflect on the goodness of God in 2021. We share this because in the book of Joshua, chapter 4, which we think is relevant to us right now, God tells Joshua to cross the River Jordan. And so God opens up the River Jordan. They walk on dry ground to the other side. It's almost a crossover party from one year into the next year. And uh, in this crossover party, God says to Joshua and the Israelites to go back to the River Jordan and pull out some memorial stones from the river and build 12 pillars for each tribe, one, one pillar for each tribe, and that these pillars would be memorial stones to remember God's provision, to remember God's grace, to remember God's power, to remember that He's the way maker, to remember how He opened up the river, how He made the ground dry. And so Joshua tells the Israelites to go across and get the stones, they build the pillars. And then we see in Joshua chapter 6 that God tells Joshua that they are to take the city of Jericho by marching around the city of Jericho and coming back to Gilgal. And the reason for coming back to Gilgal was to be there to look at the memorial stones that as they went out to Jericho and marched around the enemy's camp, they would come back every evening and sit down and look at the memorial pillars that they'd built to remind them, this is what God did last year. This is how God provided, that He's the way maker. He'll make a way where there seems to be no way. He's the healer. He's the provider. He's with you. He's for you. And He's God. So just as uh, Joshua was told to build these pillars, we were thinking as a family that maybe, maybe you could pause for a moment just before we hit New Year's Eve and you could find something that reminds you of God's grace, God's mercy, God's faithfulness, God's joy. Maybe that'll be a photo or a journal entry or a little memento that you might have picked up somewhere. But this was such a good exercise for us, wasn't it? And uh, we were flicking through and seeing really, even though it's been a very difficult year, God has been so good and he has been so, so faithful. So we were challenged to find a, a picture or something that would make us laugh, that would make us smile. And the one that I found that always makes me smile and laugh was this little clip of our Challenge Ministries team building on a Friday morning. And uh, this has been a year that's been difficult for our team. But I think through the difficulties, we have drawn closer than ever before. And we have laughed together and had so much fun. And we've laughed at ourselves too. And that is always good for the soul. So have a look at this little clip. <laughs> well, a picture that reminds me of uh, God's faithfulness is is this picture. It's a picture of my two brothers, Patrick and Mark, uh, sitting on a chair with me uh, on Christmas Day. And uh, in the background, you can see a photograph of my late father, Marcus Daniel Ward, who passed away on January 14th. And he's in heaven now with the Lord. And uh, the reason why this picture is so important to me and it reminds me of God's faithfulness is uh, my dad got saved, born again, and uh, to know that he's in heaven right now is honestly the grace of God, the faithfulness of God to uh, win him to the Lord and for him to be in heaven with, with the Father, with Father God now. And with me, my two brothers who are saved. So uh, these, this family is now all saved the faithfulness of God. Yeah, this is personal things that we're sharing, but um, a, a photo that really reminds me of God's faithfulness is this one of Kevin and I with Joshua and Caroline in November having a Thanksgiving dinner. And this is so special because 
we hadn't been able to visit them at all since they've been married and they've been married over three years now. And so um, with the flights blocked from South Africa to America, we couldn't travel. But as soon as those flights opened on the 8th of November, we booked our ticket and we flew on the 21st of November. We had just got there when five days later, the, the flights closed again. So we are just so thankful that God was so kind and so faithful to let us get to see our children, our grown children, in that small window of opportunity that he made possible. It really was the faithfulness of God. I wanted to show this picture as well. This is a picture of Asher and some friends in a boat going down uh, the Yusutu River, White River rafting. They had a really fun time. But I love this picture because um, you can see the river's flooded, like the River Jordan flooded. Uh, there's massive rapids. And uh, we had been jesting with Asher about be careful of the rocks and the rapids and the crocodiles, of course. Um, that didn't stop her. She went out and she got into that uh, boat and off she went down the river, White River rafting with friends. And whilst out there, a big storm hit. And, uh, they went through everything and they had a great day. The reason why I believe this picture is so important for me right now is I, I do believe we're going to enter into some storms this next year. And uh, we're going to see flooded rivers, we're going to see uh, stormy situations and rapids we have to navigate. But this picture shows me God will give us the grace. He gave Asher the grace. And if we can just enjoy God and enjoy His presence, not only will we get through the storms and uh, get down the river, but getting to the other side. But I believe it'll be the best year of your life yet. If you'll just let yourself rest in God's faith, hope and love. So we pray for a very blessed new year for you. Happy New Year.